Five, five, five. Five sets of five seconds for five minutes rest off 20 millimeter with 80 through 90% of your one rep max. Here we go. So all you have to do in order to find your one rep max is go to the gym, warm up adequately, do warm up adequately. From there, you're gonna select the 20 millimeter edge because the 20 millimeter edge is big enough so that you don't dry fire up and it's big enough so that you can just focus on bearing down with, you know, weight. From there, you're gonna slowly start adding weight to yourself and see how long you can hold it for five seconds for max hang. And in between these max hang attempts, you're gonna rest adequately of at least five minutes to allow for your muscles to fully recover because you want high quality reps. So once you find your uh, one rep max, in this case, a uh, hold for five seconds of 20 minute, 20 millimeter edge, you're gonna do quick math. For example, my max of the 20 millimeter edge uh, is 150 pounds. 80 to 90% of that is 120 to 135 pounds, give or take. So then that's gonna be my working weight and my working set weight, right? So from there, it would be five sets of 120 to 135 pounds with five minutes rest in between each set at least. Now the frequency would be twice a week and we wanna have at least 48 hours in between each session to allow your muscles to adequately recover so you don't accidentally mess up your stuff. You're gonna do this protocol for approximately three to eight weeks, however long you really wanna take, honestly. And then at the end of those three to eight weeks, you're gonna test your one rep max again. And then you're gonna put this whole uh, formula protocol on repeat. And then after say, uh, three to four months, you're gonna give yourself about two to three weeks break from this protocol entirely to allow your fingers to completely recover from it. Kind of like a deload allows your fingers to freshen up. Now to implement this into your training, it's actually really particularly simple. Um, when you go to the climbing gym, start off with this and then continue climbing and do the rest of your, uh, you know, whatever you do, because you want to make sure that you're at max strength and freshness when you do this, because we're aiming for high quality reps in order to acquire high quality strength. Now, obviously you're going to be, you know, doing this for 25 minutes with only 25 seconds of work, but it's going to be 25 seconds of very hard, arduous, herculean yarn work. And when you're training your max strength, you do need these very long extended rest periods. I say five minutes as a minimum. It could be, it could be eight, it could be 10, whatever, really. And now I would finally like to add, if this is your first time doing something of this nature or similar to something of this nature, that when you do go to test out your one rep max, don't find your true one rep max for fear of you might get injured because your fingers aren't accustomed to loading in this high of a regard. So instead of trying to find your true one rep, one rep max, I would stop shy by a good comfortable margin. So theoretically speaking, let's say you could uh, theoretically do 100 pounds, but you get to uh, say 70 pounds and you're like, you know, I feel like I could do more, but at 70 pounds, I could feel it working and it feels good. Great. Stop Stop, stop it right there. And then with that 70 pounds, you're gonna do quick math again, blah, 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 bam. And that's gonna be your working weight in for your working sets. Now, if you do do it this way, I would drop the rest times from five minutes down to three minutes. Of course, it could still be five minutes if you like. From there, keep everything else the same. And then after say one to two months of doing it this way at the lighter weight, test out your one rep max and then it will be your true one rep max this time and then you can hop on the normal protocol. Now, should you be productive during your five minutes of rest time? No. You should not. You want to make sure all your energy is spent focusing on these upcoming five seconds. So no push-ups, no uh, stretching. Okay, a little bit of stretching won't be bad, but no, you know, anything arduous. No, nothing arduous. You want to focus all your energy into these upcoming five seconds for that max high quality-ness. What if you feel like doing more than five sets? Well, you, my friend, did not use enough weights. So what I recommend to you is if it feels like it's too light for you, don't be afraid to add five to 10 pounds for your next set. That's it, really. At the end of these five sets, your fingers should be completely blasted. Like you should not be able to do another set afterwards. Now I will add the slight caveat that you can do some back off sets. A back off set is simply a set with less weight. You know, do about two to three of these with a subtraction of approximately that anywhere between 20 to 40% of the weight that you're using. And when you do do these, I would recommend you rest only for three minutes and hold on for 10 seconds in order to fully drain your fingers of all its possible strength. Cause you're not gonna have that max strength anymore, but you will still have some of that medium level strength power endurance type stuff both stuff so i would recommend you do that to completely eliminate and then at the end of these back off sets on the very last set you could hit it with the drop set so you would hang with your body i mean no you would hang with the weight on and then once you're done with that for your last set you just whoop, switch into your normal body weight hang for as long as you can to really really whoop, completely tire out your fingers blah 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 and likewise if you overestimate your strength and the first set was too heavy 
there's nothing wrong with eliminating 5 to 10, 15 pounds for your next set. Remember, it's more important to complete 5 seconds with a good strong contraction than just to fail at 3 seconds while going all out because then that might in case increase your chance of poppity poppity of the tendoning and that's not good. When training, it's not about the weight, it's about the effort and the effort must be 100% but the weight never has to be 100%, you feel me? Now should you still train if you feel unusually weak? The answer is no, not really. Uh, if you feel unusually weak, you probably should just skip it or you could reduce the weight drastically and you could even reduce the sets if you feel like it, but no one's forcing you to do it. This is the type of workout that you should do when you feel nice, strong, and fresh. One missed workout per week is not gonna kill you, uh, but you know, you constantly miss them all the time, then that's a problem. And lastly, you may see me hang off with 150 pounds and you may think, wow, he, he must just does a lot of hangboarding to get his finger strength. And the answer is no. Uh, most of my finger strength predominantly comes from just climbing a lot on hard problems. But this hangboarding protocol is a very numerical, trackable, arguably very safe way to build finger strength, which I have done in the past, but I have not done in the recent past. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, partner.